I'm a formally trained invasive cardiologist and uh, had a very busy practice. Um, one day I got a call from a friend who had suffered a very uh, significant heart attack um, and his prognosis was very grim. His uh, doctors had told him basically to get his affairs in order. Yeah, uh, he had two girls in high school and he was just unwilling to accept that. He owned a restaurant, could barely walk across the room without getting short of breath. His wife had to tie his shoes in the morning because he couldn't do it. Uh, there was a group of people eating one night in his restaurant and uh, they got to talking. And apparently they had just come back from having grandpa treated with stem cells who was doing phenomenally. So he looked into it, he thought that it might be a viable option for himself and uh, gave me a call. He says, do you want to go to Thailand and get stem cells? And I said, what? <laughs> Where? <laughs> um, had no idea, you know, radar, the stem cells were not on my radar at all. So I said, let me look into it. So I did some research, um, the technology, the research and development, um, the docs that had uh, developed it, uh, that were doing the treatments, the facilities, all looked really good, at least on the internet. Uh, so I said, let's go. If we see anything we don't feel comfortable with, uh, we pack our bags, call it a vacation, and head back. But however, the doctors were phenomenal, all US trained physicians. The facilities were amazing, uh, because Thailand is a medical tourism destination for the other half of the world. And um, the procedure was done extremely well. However, going into it, I was extremely skeptical because I knew very little about it and really had received no training or information about it uh, during my medical uh, years. So what I did was I put him through every test I could from a cardiac standpoint. You know, we tested his ejection fraction, um, his, did a stress test, did a nuclear, uh, did a MUGA, everything. So when he came back, I started retesting him about 30 days out and his heart started improving. And at six months to a year, it had improved almost pretty much back to normal, which is something that we were told in medical school and in cardiology fellowship, that doesn't happen. You know, once there's damage to the heart, it just doesn't get better. And that in fact was the case prior to the ability to use stem cells to regenerate heart tissue. So he blew the doors off all the tests that we did. Um, he came off most of his medications. Uh, he started uh, physically to be able to do a lot more. Um, he was able to double the time he was on his, on his treadmill test by six months to a year. Yeah. His nuclear study started to normalize. And every year, you know, there'd be another smile on my face, you know, with the anniversary that, you know, we've reached another year. He's still alive. He saw his girls graduate. Um, you know, at this point, uh, we treated him in 2006. So you do the math. Uh, his girls have gotten married. He's got five grandchildren. He's, he works in his restaurant every day. I talked to him on the phone uh, a couple of weeks ago. He's not on any medications. <laughs> uh, we turned off his defibrillator several years ago, so he doesn't need to, that. Um, not taking any meds, and I scolded him for not having seen a physician in two years. <laughs> so you go from go home to die to over 10 years later living a full life. There's nothing in medicine outside of stem cells that can do this. Yeah. So that's how I got into it. And just seeing the amazing results that we got with him, um, I knew that it had to be something that I had to be involved with. I've always been innovative, progressive, creative in medicine, and this was just something that I had to be part of. You know, we, we started with the one patient, and then there were other patients that came to us wanting this, a similar treatment. Um, we got them treated, realizing that traveling to Thailand was just too far away. We had to, at that time, we, we would travel to Thailand for the treatment. The uh, blood was drawn here, but was shipped to Israel to be, to be processed, the stem cells, and then went on to Thailand. And it was just a, a long trip and very internationally complicated to do that. Um, due to some FDA um, restrictions on what we can and can't do in the U.S., we uh, had to move the treatment closer, but not onto U.S. soil. So we picked the Dominican Republic. Um, we have a facility there that has a, a state-of-the-art cath lab, very, very talented physicians that we work with. It's been the same team for over 10 years. Um, we know what we're doing, we do it well, we do it routinely, and we get some really good results. Um, but how it got start, how I got started, how it became part of my practice was that it, it eventually started displacing my general regular cardiology practice, and I started focusing more and more on that. Um, 
you know, cardiology, there's a lot of cardiologists. Uh, there are not a lot of people that have experience and the ability or the desire to um, utilize stem cells for something that otherwise traditional treatment can't accomplish in most of these patients.